Hi everyone, welcome back to Plumber Parts. You may recognise this house, this is Lee's house, but we've deliberately come round today when him and his missus are out because, let's face it, they're annoying. But they have left a rabid animal in the form of Lockie, a dog that you might have met in a few previous Plumber Parts videos, waiting for us. Anyway, it's left us the key out and it is just down there in the gas meter. Oh, little spiders. So what we're doing today is we're second fixing a vanity unit. So for some of you Plumber Parts fans of old, you can sit and watch us do it and enjoy all the fun that I go through when we do this for a living. And some of you who are new here, you're gonna be able to learn how to do this yourself by watching me do it. I guess you're wondering where these are from, aren't you? Beautiful, aren't they? Safety glasses, these. Very nice, links below. Okay, right, you ready? No jumping up though, otherwise you go back in. How do they get them in there? No, I'm leaving you in there. Until we finish, once we finish, I'll let you out, right? Right, let's go upstairs and check out this job. We were in here a couple of weeks ago, before I went on holiday to Greece. Unlucky all you people who did a psychology degree, it ain't gonna happen for you, is it? Well, some of you youngsters out there who went and did a proper trade, you're the ones on holiday in Greece right now, bronzing your Gucci's on the fantastic beaches. I had a lovely time. Don't worry, I don't put highlights in my hair. It bleaches in the sun. And I did get bitten a couple of times on my face, randomly enough by some mosquitoes. So this is what we got here at the moment. A little bit complicated because Lee has tiled the floor and the floor is kind of tipping this way, uh, which means if we put, well, it's either the floor or the wall. I'll have a look in a minute. But um, something's out of level here, all right, big time. And we need to sort of figure out a way that we can make this work, which is pretty much the typical way of doing it. So when you've got a vanity unit like this, we've got obviously our cupboard, which is where everything's hidden. And you wanna kind of have in your head the fact that you want everything under here to be nice and neat so the people who have that cupboard can actually use the thing, yeah? So we've got an inch and a quarter waste pipe down here, and then we've got our two 15 mil capped off feeds at the back. Now the first thing I do, and someone's done it already, they've actually drawn a line there where the top of this little piece of wood is down there. So what we need to do first is just turn the water off and get our pipes up to about here with two valves on it and then they'll be ready for the second fix when we pop our sink on here and all that. Um, another thing we just need to do as well is we've got some flexies on here. Yay, beautiful. They're gonna go somewhere on here. You know what, they might even reach. They'd reach down the back, all right, past that bit of wood, but we want people to be able to switch the water off without having to turn the whole of the hot water off, the whole of the cold off. So we'll be bringing that up and probably doing a little spin round like that, which is perfectly fine as long as you don't kink it. Let's get this all off now and have a look at what we need to do. Lee has very kindly already drilled the holes that are gonna hold his vanity unit back, even though I'm not sure that red plug's quite fixed there. What's he done here? Lee, bad boy. By the way, Lee's done something that most customers never do, and he sent me a little video telling me what I was gonna come up against when I got here. Have a look at this. All right, mate, um, I've just put the cabinet in front of the mirror. I might just have to do a big bead of silicone along there, but I can do that. Stop cock for the water is under the sink. Um, not that one, because you can't get to it. He's locked up at the minute, but I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. So first thing I'm going to do is turn the hot water off. Now some of you who are here watching this video a few weeks ago will know that I put in a single impeller pump to pressurise the whole of his hot water. And as we're working on a four tick tank, and I drew this lovely diagram on the side that will be there forever, we had to also put a float switch in there to protect that pump just in case the water level got too low. But one thing I forgot to tell Lee, well I think I did tell him, was don't cover the pump in all your bed clothes and stuff like that. You've ignored me, Lee, you bad, bad boy. <sighs> so it's all down here now, isn't it? I'm near happy, I tell it. So anyway, turn that off, turn the pump off, and hopefully that should be our hot water all off. Is that you, Max? You're creaking in the bath. Your foot's gonna go through it in a minute, mate, jeez. So what you need to do to make sure the water's off is open up the hot water tap now, because Max is stood there with the camera, where you are, where you're looking at me from, and this window here, Max is gonna have to turn the hot water on. There you go, there's Max's lovely hand. And there we go, it's very successfully gone off. Uh, now we're gonna have to turn off, you guessed it, the cold water. And as usual, the cold water is down there under the sink. So we've got, he's actually put in a lever valve because this doesn't work. Oh, someone's just put this in and you can't turn it. So there's a lever valve here for that. That's off now. And then we can open up the hot and the cold. 
And that coming out there is all the water out of the, the hot pipes, draining out the system. It's also unusual that Lee's got a fridge in his living room. That's a bit weird, that Lee. Have you got a problem, mate? If you have, call up that special line, Alcoholics Anonymous, even though that is definitely not anonymous. And it says sex wax on it. We always play this guitar, don't we? What's the Fender like? The Fender's a miles better guitar as well. Oh, lovely. We've got to think of how we could do the lyrics. Here's a toast to Lee. No, the lizard. Here you go. Here's a toast to the lizard. It's been too long. Where did you go? What have you seen? Does the cockroaches taste differently? That's probably the worst one we've done since we've been here, actually, isn't it? <laughs> Comment below what song I was actually ripping off there, guys. Because if you can get that, it means that you've got some pretty decent musical knowledge. Also, I did a very good song called Cuffed. Right, Max, can you test out the cold as well, please, now, mate? Just make sure that's all good. Beautiful. Right, this should just lift out of the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, great. That was easy, wasn't it? Who cleaned those pipes down last time they were here? I think you'll find it was me. <laughs> we want to try and keep a clean site here. Don't we, Max? Mm. 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 Since I've come back from Greece, Max won't talk to me anymore. He's like, why did you go, Jimmy? He left me all alone. To you what, I'm probably going to take these off, actually. That's what I love about these. It's so easy to slip on and off. Sexy. Discount voucher, 10% off. I'll leave a link below. Just use the lovely little link below and flex our sexy voucher code for 10% off your load. They are very nice. I still got the balaclava in there as well. Right, I'm just burning off the pipes here just to give them an extra clean down just with a little bit of flaxy wax on there. So once you heat these up, you can just do that and then give them a little clear off if you like and that will clear them right down. Look at that, how clean that is. Just before we do any actual soldering on it. Right, okay, let's get two straight couplings out of the van. <laughs> Look at me. I've got to get up, I've got to go to the van. This is the bit people don't understand in plumbing. Is you Look where I am, I've now got to get up and go to the van, which is downstairs, just for two straight 15 millimeter couplings. Without this sort of thing happening, apprentices would never get a job because that's what they start out doing. My apprentice is here right now. God rest his soul. Hey, Matt. Um, I'd be like, Matt, go to the van, get me two 15 mil couplings. He'll get the ump, but I tell you what, he'd learn what 15 mil couplings look like after a week. Here we go. Ugh. At least I can slip these babies back on. Just whip them off like that, in we get. <laughs> just so you know this is naughty so what we're going to have we've got our two flexies they've got a flat on them with a rubber okay to be honest what most people would do is actually just screw it on there okay and get on with their lives but it's a little bit naughty so i'm just going to file a tiny little flat on there just to make it so they've got a little bit of a flat to go on it doesn't have to be a lot but still a good idea and then I've just filed that off a little bit, so it's just a tiny flat. Otherwise, it would just be this sort of sharpened end. Make sure as well that you take note of the arrow on there, so you get the right side flattened off. Believe me, a lot of you in the comments are going to go, oh, you didn't do that. But, number one, you're commenting on a plumbing, plumbing video. And, um, you know, it's, this is real life, yeah? This ain't some sort of plumbing channel where 
the real life scenarios aren't played out in front of your eyes for you to view. This is real life. They're going to try and bring them up roughly the same. God, I love this thing so much. Heat the bottom one up first if you like. You can pop a little bit at the top. Nice. Usually you don't have to worry about heating both sides on 15mm. Just get it running in a bit like that. Oh, I've cocked it up. But hey, I don't care. Just got to not leak. That's its only job in life is to not leak. Not the most beautiful bit of soldering, but it'll do. Do, isn't it? Get the job done, leave your tools outside so they don't get in the way and then next thing you know you're doing baby little sit-ups. Ah, oh, having done a whole week of eating and drinking in Greece. Believe me, it's when you need a gather skill. I don't know why I'm talking like that but I'm gonna. Alright, turn them off. We don't want them on in a few minutes time, believe me. <laughs> so Lee's told me that the gap he's put for this meant that this is actually up like that. So it should run away nicely down to there. Has he actually glued that? Yes. I'm very surprised. Well done, Lee. You've outdone yourself there. Right, okay. So there's our water done. Shall we put two clips in? The fact I'm asking it. Oh, I've got it, haven't I? Oh, that's what I love about these is you can, you really shouldn't do this, but it means I don't have to get the other drill out of the van. Safety glass is on. Don't tell me that's a brick wall. <laughs> See, look, that's so much better, isn't it? Glad we did that, aren't we? Okay, let's get that B plus put away. See, we can actually have a little mini, mini clear up now. I'm not gonna brass say that. It's a waste of good brass say. The van's got a problem with the power steering <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, so I didn't tell you that before I got you in it, but you know, I don't think you wanna know. See, so happy now, Max, clearing up a bit? Very, very particular about that, aren't you? All the tools that I use in this video, including this mirror that you can see Max in, and this lovely bit of Bosch stuff here, um, you can get on our Amazon store. Link's below. This was easy to do, wasn't it? Yeah, he's left me loads of room, hasn't he? Love you, Lee. See, now look, they're at a lovely height. So look, this is the problem. The wall is absolutely, completely out. <laughs> All the floor is. It's bad. And let's see which is out. Maybe there's something we can do. That's the wall. <laughs> that wall is out by, I mean, over even over that much, it's out. Oh my days. Did Lee do the tiling in here? Lee, did you do this? Even though, I, th I don't think even the tiling's to blame. The wall is just miles out. I think we're better off fixing this. Oh. Let me go and get the um, base in, just pop it on here. I want to see what it looks like when it's on. All right, the basin goes back to the wall. Is there a gap at the top? Yes, there is, okay. So what we're gonna do is this. These side gaps down here aren't a big deal, okay? If Lee wants to block them up or something later on, he can, but your eye is not really drawn to seeing that as a gap unless you're sitting with your head at the tap end of the bath. And if you bath that way around, then there's something wrong with you. Um, so what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna, we're gonna bring this back five mil. We're gonna try and split the difference a little bit. So it's back to there, okay? And the, rate, the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna whip this off. We're gonna get two bits of 15 mil copper. We're gonna use them as packers on the back here, some proper screws back there, and we're gonna wind it back to where we need it. And then we can, we'll be able to run a little bead of silicon across here and get that screwed down. Problem solving is the name of the game. Plumbers mate, this stuff, it is roasting hot outside. If you are gonna leave this in your van, like I've just done, and let it heat up, then good luck to you. This stuff's gonna be gloopy as hell. What you usually wanna do is pop it in the fridge for at least an hour before you use it. 
that just fills me with fear. <laughs> but here we go. That's usually the best thing you can do is sit down. Just the first thing is to sit down like this. Get your lovely little base in here and just get this all through and done before you actually put it onto the vanity unit. One thing you want to make sure of, and I've done this a few times on Plumber Parts videos over the years, the slot for the overflow at least somehow faces roughly this way, which is where the overflow water is going to come down. Here comes the fun bit. We got to roll this into a sausage. Oh my God, it is so, so sloppy in there. It reminds me of places that I don't want to think about anymore. Look at that, so easy to work with. I mean, it is brilliant at what it does. It never sets, always stays like this, but it will create a lovely watertight seal. So you want to get it into a sausage like that. And you really have to like have about five hands to do this. Oh, it's properly stuck to my hand now, look at that. Once you've got one bit of it, just sort of hanging off and you can get it in. I don't think I've ever had one this hard to do actually. That is so hot. Look at it, this is, <laughs> you've got to put this in the fridge. You are seeing the reasons as to why I give you these tips, guys. Like, I don't say it lightly, this stuff really does not want to be warm when you do it, all right? So look, I'm gonna get that in there so it's just sort of puggled and sealed a bit. <sighs> Mate. <clears throat> and you can splodge it down with the rubber, yeah? And you see, it'll just splurge out where it doesn't need. Grab my blue roll please Max, I need it. I'm desperate mate. I feel like I've just come out of one of them dodgy clubs in Berlin. That's the, the, the worst thing about it. Get it everywhere. Should have put that in the freezer. All right, lightly hold that so it's in place. Don't want these top grips that are holding the thread to slip because that thread is gonna be imperativo. That's about as much as I wanna do that up. And now we've got the joy, just picking this lot off. Right, he's bought this. Bottle trap's probably not quite the right trap, but it doesn't really, it's not a real big issue. The rubber is slightly, it's almost too small for this piece here. He has given us this trap here to use, which is fine as well, looks okay. So we could just use that. Make sure that goes on all right. We'll just do that one up lightly because we've been moving that in a minute. Next thing we want to do is just get our tap on. And these are all the little easy jobs that we can do now to make our lives a little bit easier so we're not doing it when we're under the sink. No hot and cold markings on the braids. Sometimes you'll get blue and red on them, but there aren't any on here today. And then we've got our usual little bits and bobs that you always get with your tap, your two bolts, two holding nuts, and of course, our little half moons, and then a little decorative panel that I'm gonna hold lightly. Don't wanna get anything on it. Feed these two little babies on there. I'm not gonna get any plumber's mate on this tap. First things first, let's get these two on. These will seal up on the rubbers, not on tightness. So you wanna do them up, just hand tight. And once they're just up, that's it, that one's done. And the same for this one here. Here we go, nip that up, and that one's done. Beautiful. Straight back in the bag, my tools just went there, Max. You can't keep moaning at me about leaving stuff out. So just, this is a very similar job here to when we went to Amanda's kitchen a couple of months ago, isn't it, Max? Very similar, apart from we don't have a strobe light. <laughs> so you get that on there, like so, that's your protective rubber. You usually get given them for free at the clinic. And then we pop on a protective metal bit. Goes on just like so. say about that gap down the back oh yeah i'll remember i'm not going to be here when he says it so don't care lee and if you ring me and text me and send me any more of your weird videos some of the videos you send me max honestly lee stop it no one needs to see that anyway right we're going to run a little bit of silicon just the tiniest bead of silicon around the top of that and also that and then we'll just push this back but then we've we've got to do some work on this still so we do have to be a little bit careful about just moving it about too much when we do that work. So reach space this, I'll tell you that now. I'll tell you what, there's not a lot to do under there. Oh no, oh, please how they reach. Oh, they reach! Right, we're just gonna move that to there. So that's nice and straight at the back. Then we're gonna pop an elbow on, it goes down there. 
these two are just going to screw in here in a minute when we're finished. He's going to try and get us to do that toilet. I mean, hasn't even does. Is that a different colour? It is, isn't it? He hasn't even bought the same colour for the toilet seat. Hey, I'm not doing the toilet. I'm not. I just can't work in here anymore. This is. I can put this down the inside because I don't really want any of it to splodge out. If I can help it. It's looking nice, though, isn't it? Yeah. All right. No, it isn't then. I'll say. Cheers, Max. Thanks. For, you know, sometimes when you're filming, I do need a little bit of pepping up, and I feel like I'm sort of losing out. Just make sure that's straight at the front. It needs to go over a little bit. Lovely. Let's hope they pipe these up the right way around her. So I'll put that on there. Oh, I need my snips. Oh, where's Matt when you need him? Matt! That's what you used to hear all the time. That's how I used to call him. I'd go, Matt! After a while, the other blokes on site caught wind and they all just did it the whole time. Just every time they needed Matt, it was like, Matt! Matt, where are you? Mm, I could use this or I could use... I do like the Rothenberger ones. Uh, just got to cut a little slither. It's a nice job though, neat job, isn't it? That's the thing, neatness is what matters. I, you know, I don't care if it leaks or not. <laughs> By the way, this stuff is... I think it should be illegal. This particular, this particular brand is the most potent solvent weld glue there is. Like, honestly, I've, I've used this extensively in showers before and it is literally like I'm at Glastonbury. It's got a honk to it, isn't it? Yeah. You feeling it a bit, mate? Yeah. Get our red on, which is our slip nut at the back. Then we've got our taper. We'll just loosen this off slightly so it's got a little bit of wig wig. And then this can move forward and back. So we've got a little bit of movement there. Then pop this on here like so. That should be it. Turn the water back on, Captain. Cool. What you want to do is fill it up so it gets up to here. And then just let a big load of it out. Make sure we've got no leaks. And as they say at the karaoke, sweet Caroline. Just run a bead across the back, boy. Let's let the dog out. Come on, Lockie. Time for you to, oh, hold on. I'll do the gate as well so it doesn't go upstairs. Oh. Come on then, Lockie, you wanna come out? We're about to go now, mate, so you can come out because you're a pain in the ass. Hello, Lockie. Hello. Are you going to bite me? Yes, you are. Right, Lockie loved all that. So if you love this video, I suggest you watch this one here. This is going to teach you some of the ins and outs of doing under your kitchen sink plumbing. <sighs> Subscribe as well. <laughs>